Welcome to this introduction to business intelligence. I'm Sebastian Taylor, and I lead the business intelligence team here at CFI. With the advent of big data, the size and complexity of data we collect has grown exponentially. For businesses, the realm of business intelligence has evolved to deal with this problem, which means BI skills are essential to any organization that deals with data. From data transformation, automation, analysis, and visualization, business intelligence helps us transform data into actionable insights. The Intro to Business Intelligence course is going to answer what exactly is business intelligence, and is it the same as data science? We'll learn the roles that form part of a business intelligence team. We'll see live examples of the most popular BI tools, so you can see exactly how transformative they're going to be to your work. Finally, we'll learn how a BI team serves the needs of a business and how they can be well supported by its leaders. In less than an hour, I'm gonna take you through all the basic concepts of BI, and you'll even have a quick assessment to test your knowledge at the end. Average Excel skills are no longer enough, and therefore business intelligence skills are vital to any analyst working with or around data. This course serves as an introduction to our business intelligence and data analysis certification. As well as a well-rounded view of a business intelligence team, you'll see plenty of insights into the exciting skills that you'll be learning in our BEDA program. Welcome to this introduction to business intelligence from the Corporate Finance Institute. This course is a comprehensive introduction to everything business intelligence. We'll explore the roles that make up a business intelligence team, the roles they perform, and we'll see live demos of the tools most commonly used in BI. With this knowledge, you'll be all set to start learning these business intelligence tools and skills that are going to transform your ability to work with, transform, analyze, and visualize data. You're very welcome to just follow along in the course player, but if you'd like to actually download the slides, you'll find a link where you can see all of the content that appears on the screen. What is BI exactly? Business intelligence is the practice of turning data into what you'll often hear called actionable insights. Actionable insights refers to those that allow business leaders to change or maintain a course of action. So they're really allowing us to make a real difference to our business. They're not just telling us something interesting, they're telling us something we can act on. The BI process of turning that data into insights can be broken down into a few more granular steps. So we tend to start with data collection and storage. We then transform that data into a format more appropriate for our projects. Using that data, then we create data models, metrics, and we analyze the data somehow before creating visualizations. And then we share the report with any business stakeholders that need to see it. The BI process is supported by a number of different processes, as you've seen above, different tools that are good at different things from transforming data to visualizing data in other cases. Now, since there exist different steps and different tools, then naturally there are different skills involved along the way, which we'll cover throughout this course. And all of that means that different roles have evolved to deal with those different specialities. So that is gonna be the focus of this course and we're going to explore each of those roles in detail. The goal of this course is to piece together all of this information so that you can see how the BI skills, tools and roles all fit together to help form part of this process. But before we continue on with that, I want to answer one super common question about BI, which is, is BI the same as data science? In a nutshell, no. Business intelligence focuses on what has happened and what trends have been developing. Common questions in BI might be, how many loans did we issue compared to last year? Which category delivered the highest margin in Q4? And the key skills required for BI are basic stats, data transformation, data visualization, and very specific business knowledge to the area you're working on. Data science, on the other hand, isn't so backwards looking at just what has happened. 
Instead, it focuses on what will happen or which outcome is most likely. Data science questions might be something like, can we predict which customers are likely to default on their loans? Or can we suggest relevant movies that a user will like based on their previous choices? The skills used in data science are inherently more technical. And so those include coding, more advanced statistics, and again, that specific domain knowledge related to the industry you're working on. More generally, the term data analysis somewhat bridges the gap between those two worlds and starts to bring in some of those statistical concepts from data science into our analysis without getting too heavy into the coding and the machine learning which you'd experience later on. So obviously the focus of this course is on the BI portion of these questions. So we're going to explore the roles and tools and skills that support that area of analysis. As we said, BI exists to turn data into insights. To help us understand how that happens, we're going to look at four different roles and the part they each play in delivering insights to a business. Data engineers are responsible for organizing and moving data between systems, which is more commonly referred to as ETL, or Extract, Transform, and Load. This process ensures that the data is ready and optimized for the rest of us to consume. Data analysts are typically responsible for extracting that data for a specific report or project. They use it to create metrics and models that will eventually help stakeholders answer important questions. Data visualization specialists are focused on the presentation of those metrics to the business audience. After all, what good are all our technical insights if we can't communicate them clearly to our non-technical audience? They do this using visuals and dashboards to create reports and presentations that tell stories about important metrics. Finally, Let's not forget our business leaders, who ultimately are the audience of all our hard work. Strictly speaking, they're not part of the business intelligence team, but they're important because they make their decisions based on our insights. Everything we do as a business intelligence team is for the benefit of the business. In the rest of this chapter, we're going to explore each one of these roles in turn. We'll look at examples of the tools they might use and demo the most common ones so you can see just how powerful these tools are. We'll also look at the skills required to fulfill each role. Now for those of us who have spent a significant amount of time in Microsoft Excel, the data analyst represents a familiar starting point in the BI sequence. We have access to some data in the form of an Excel file, CSV file or database, and we need to rearrange it to fit nicely into our report. So let's take a look at the modern data analyst.